folks, if Trump is so bad, then why are all these Democrats lining up to support him all of a sudden? And that's the subject of the riff. So Kamala Harris takes a break from her basement campaign at the Veep's residence in Washington, D.C., to call an emergency presser in order to put out the utterly despicable smear comparing Donald Trump to Adolf Hitler. Utterly despicable. She says Donald Trump is out for unchecked power. He wants a military like Adolf Hitler had, who will be loyal to him, not our Constitution, end quote. She says, not only is the charge despicable, it's unproven. It comes from a book written a couple years ago by two New York Times, that's not true, by New York Times Peter Baker and his wife Susan Glasser. That book quotes former Chief of Staff John Kelly. But while Kelly keeps repeating the charge, no one's been able to actually corroborate it. General Kelly is a tragic figure here. He's a patriot, retired Marine Corps general, who was dismissed by then-President Trump and has been a source of incredible vitriol at Mr. Trump ever since then. Tragically, General Kelly has completely lost his way. Look at I was in the Oval Office hundreds of times, never heard Ms. Trump talk about Hitler or Nazi generals. Writing in the New York Post today, Miranda Devine says the left has put a target on Donald Trump's back with these Nazi Adolf Hitler smears. In other words, Kamala could well be in instigating yet another assassination attempt on Trump's life. Now, I'm going to bet virtually the entire country knows that in the final days of what looks like a losing campaign, Kamala Harris is just absolutely desperate. But desperation like this never pays off. You know, ever since Mr. Trump walked down the escalator in Trump Tower over nine years ago, Democrats have called him every name in the book. They impeached him, then they impeached him again. He was never convicted. They tried to throw him in jail for 750 years. They tried to bankrupt him. They tried to throw him off the ballot. But all the weaponized lawfare cases have fallen apart on appeal. Russia, Russia, Russia was a lot of baloney financed by Hillary Clinton. Now Kamala's talking about Hitler and calling him a fascist and comparing him to Hitler and claiming he's unhinged and unstable. But Trump is standing a lot taller than she is right now. That's the key point. In fact, his favorability has just surged over 50 percent in two recent polls from the Wall Street Journal and Gallup, over 50 percent. He's never been over 50 percent before. What does that tell you? Since last August, get this, Team Kamala has spent $625 million on broadcast, on cable, radio, and digital ads. Team Trump has only spent $378 million, according to the Wall Street Journal. Meanwhile, Kamala's gone down, Trump has gone up. Go figure. Negativity doesn't always work, even in politics. And Trump is lengthening his lead on all the issues. According to the Journal poll, he's now plus 12 on the economy, plus 15 on immigration, plus 15 on the Middle East, plus 9 on crime. Of course he is. The country does not want to reelect the Biden-Harris administration. Kamala can't talk issues because nobody likes her issues. So she calls pressers to throw mud at Trump, even though the mud's not sticking. By the way, fittingly, she didn't even answer questions from the press at her own press conference. Finally, just consider this for a moment. Kamala is smearing Trump with Hitler. So what is she going to do about this growing gaggle of Democrats running for the U.S. Senate who have favorably mentioned Trump in their own ads against Republicans? There's a laundry list. Sherrod Brown in Ohio, Bob Casey in Pennsylvania, Tammy Baldwin in Wisconsin, Elisa Slotkin in Michigan, John Tester in Montana. They've all put Trump in their ads, and these are positive, not negative ads about Trump. Not to mention, by the way, the likes of Democrats such as Bobby Kennedy and Tulsi Gabbard standing just last night on stage embracing Mr. Trump. So does that mean they're all complicit with Kamala's Nazi smear, with her fascist smear, with her Trump derangement syndrome personal hate campaign against Mr. Trump? Pretty soon, half the Democrats running for the Senate are going to be back in Trump. Now, I wouldn't necessarily believe them, but it's pretty clear. 
They're not paying any attention to Kamala Harris or her despicable smear campaign, which, like the weaponized lawfare jihad, has probably given voters even more reason to vote for Mr. Trump. And that is the riff.